Well, it's below freezing outside right now. And, um, I'm nice and warm. Ah, but, uh, I have heard word that we could get some snow as much as a few inches of accumulation, so I think I'm going to winterize this since I have two other mowers, the other one's outside right now, so I can work on this. So I think I'm just going to take that deck off the John Deere here and um, I'll start fixing this deck up. Just got to get a, another pulley for it. Uh, actually, two pulleys and one set of bearings for it, I believe I need. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I don't know if I'm going to put the snowplow on it right now or not. I might. My snowplow is right here. It's actually very easy to put on. This right here just mounts onto the front of the bumper, that's all. So what I need to do is just remove my fog lights here, first of all. And, well, if I'm going to put the plow on, I need to remove these. But, to get the mower deck off, i got to take off the side panel. That's the hardest part of taking the mower deck off, believe it or not. Removing the side panel. Three cap screws. There's one down there and two underneath the hood line. This will come right off. And then I can access the pulley right here and uh, take the belt off. Then the deck is just a matter of, well, there's four pins. No, there's uh, spring clips, I think they are. Yeah, four clips and uh, two pins I got to pull, and that's it. Deck pops right off. Pretty easy. It takes a couple minutes. And the snow plow. And it just sets in these hooks right here. And then right here where this bolt is, the pin goes through there. Same on the other side. And then right underneath this light, that'd be right up in here, there's a hook that attaches to the main lift system on the tractor. And that's where the plow lift connects to. So it's very easy to put on. And I've got my snow chains down here somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to put the chains on right now. I might put the plow on. Who knows? I'll get it out in case I need it at least. Alright. But now with the side panel removed, you can see my non-functioning muffler. Look how big this sucker is. It's a big muffler and it doesn't work at all. I think it's all rusted out in the inside. So instead of quieting the sound, it practically amplifies it. And here's the belt clutch. To remove this thing, to remove the belt, you flip this up. Oop. And there we go. Actually, I gotta loosen up the tensioner. And, ah, there we go. And the belt just comes right off. Now I push it down in through here. Off of the idler pulleys. Here's my mule drive pulleys up under there. And that's just that. The belt's off. And here is my PTO clutch. If I was going to get a snowblower for this tractor, you see these three holes here in the outside wheel right here, you'd put a pulley right here and that would drive the snowblower. This big pulley right here, that's for the motor deck. And on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it or not. Actually, I have a light. light. That thing right there, is what's left of the original clutch brake. You can see where it's wearing against the wheel right there. I have it adjusted all the way out so it doesn't touch at all right now, but my brake facing is gone. There's a single 
bolt on the underside of that that holds that on. You take that bolt out and it allows this whole clutch base, this whole clutch wheel here, to slide right off so you can grease the bearings. It's very easy to service. In fact, I should probably do that this weekend. This bearing's still nice and tight, which is good. Okay, I'm going to put this back on. Oop. Hard to do this one-handed. And just like that, goes in between those. And then that tab locks down. After time, these tabs kind of wear, and sometimes they stay like that, but they work. And that's that. My clutch is back together again. And, uh, there's my horn. Mounted up underneath the hood. Ugh. It's a little bit dusty under here. I gotta clean my engine up. And, uh, that's that. Now to remove the deck. 